right? That woe to those who pray, those who are seen to be, uh, to be seen of men, right? So your niyyah, your intention should be any action that you do, you do it for the sake of Allah. You're doing it to please Allah Azza wa Jal, right? Doing it for the sake of men. Yeah. Sure. Yes. It, 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 it's, 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 yes. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. This is what the Prophet alayhi salatu salam he said that the thing that I fear the most of my ummah is is the shirk al azgar, the minor shirk which is riya, showing off. Why? Because the Prophet alayhi salatu salam he said because it is like the pitchness, it is like the the, uh, the darkness of the night under a black rock crawling under an, uh, an ant crawling underneath. Meaning it's so conspicuous, we don't even know ourselves if we're committing that shirk. Exactly. That's why we ask Allah Azza wa Jal every time we, we seek refuge in Allah from shirk of ar Why? Because the major shirk is more apparent. If you see someone, for example, a Hindu or a Christian saying Jesus God, this is apparent. Everyone knows this is major shirk. But the minor shirk is something that is cognitive. Something that's inside you, you don't even know yourself. However, so, when it when that minor shirk accumulates, it can lead to major shirk, and it can take it outside the fold of Islam. Yeah. Does that make look, sense? Yeah. Look for, look for yeah. the example that he gave, um, saying looking at, looking at a woman. If you look at it in a, in a certain way, that's sinful. Right? Yeah, that's his sin. Yeah. Right. But he calls that shirk. No, that's not shirk. That's, that's not shirk. That's no, 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 but no. I that's disagree because in essence, no. It also is a sin of arrogance. A minor arrogance. No, 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 no. See, see, David see. He believed that because he was king, very good. He could take someone else's wife and you know, get away with it. Do you know this the story? Do you know the story of Adam Alayhi? Do you know the story of Adam Alayhi Salam and Iblis? Yes. Okay. What is the difference between Nabi Adam Alayhi Salam and Iblis? Because they both committed sin, correct? Why was Adam Alayhi Salam forgiven? Why wasn't Iblis forgiven? Even though both of them committed sin, correct? But why was Adam Alayhi Salam forgiven? Because he was seeking for repentance. Yes. But Iblis was arrogant. Yes. Okay, so I disagree with you. But just because, wait, wait, just because somebody, uh, just because somebody looks at a woman, uh, you know, lustfully, yes, it is a sin. As Allah says in the Quran in Surah Nusra Surah 24, Ayah 30, 31, that both men and women, they have to lower their gaze. That's a sin. However, if the person knows what they're doing is, if, if the person knows what he's doing is wrong, and he seeks Allah's forgiveness, Allah will forgive him if he, if he meets the conditions, if he's sincere. The arrogance can be forgiven. The thing is, Adam repented. Adam repented, right? but he so wasn't he arrogant. He may have been arrogant at one point and repented. No, no that's not, not correct. He, he, was, he, was, Why he was arrogant, he was arrogant to no. think that he knew what God said. He knew what God said. Okay, good. And he still told I'll, I'll to correct that. Else. Can forget. That's he can forget. Arrogance. No, no, that's not arrogance. Absolutely arrogance. No, that's not arrogance. No, no, no. Do, you know, do you know why we call insan? The Arabic word insan? Ins, what does in, insan mean? Humans. Insan means the one who forgets. That's the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you read the Baqarah, Allah says he slipped. Yeah. He slipped. It was He mistake. forgot. Yeah, yeah, it's a mistake. It's a mistake. Yeah. yeah? But yeah. he didn't do it out of arrogance, it is the shortcoming. Yeah. Iblis, on the other hand, he committed a sin. Allah says he was he had kibr, he had arrogance. Because he refused. Because he did not, he did not repent. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. That's the difference. Yeah, that's the difference. Absolutely. Yeah. So I personally believe that even shirk can be forgiven. Yes, of course. If you if if somebody look, Allah says in Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse 48, as well as Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse 116, that Inna, inna Allah, la Allah does not forgive the sin of shirk, but anything, anything below that, Allah can forgive him, he wills. If somebody dies upon shirk and he did not make tawbah, he did not make repentance, he is destined to go to the hellfire. But those who are alive, they commit shirk, but they, but they, they repent to Allah. Allah will convert all of the evil deeds into good deeds. So if somebody dies upon shirk without tawbah, without repentance, Allah will not forgive. But if somebody is doing shirk, he's alive. Consistently, yes. But what but Satan is doing every day. Yeah, yeah. But he for, but he seeks Allah's forgiveness. For example, look, Christians uh, worship Isa alayhi salam, correct? If somebody accepted Islam, are you telling me that they're not going to be forgiven? Of course they'll be they're forgiven. Be forgiven yeah. Exactly. So this is the greatest dhulm, it is the greatest injustice that anyone can do is to associate partners with Allah. Azza wa but Allah forgives if somebody is alive. He knows he's committing shirk and he asks Allah for repentance. Allah, forgive me. I want to die upon Tawheed, upon the statement, La ilaha illallah, I implement. La ilaha illallah is not just statement. Yeah. Your Iman is upon the statement of your tongue, the conviction of the heart, and the, and, yeah. and actions and for the limbs. Exactly. Yeah, for action for the limbs. So these three, three conditions have to be where? Word, That's it. Yeah.
So saying la ilaha illallah is not good enough. That's one of the conditions. Another condition, you have to act upon it. And also, you have to have conviction in the heart. So no problem. Allah is all forgiving. That's the reason why. That's the reason why. Yeah, that's the reason why Allah is wajal. He said, he said uh, I forgot which ayah. Allah says in the Quran, those who have iman, they do not mix with zulm, with wrong, with injustice. Yeah. So the Sahaba, they asked the Prophet Sallallahu but we commit zulm every time, like we commit sins. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi he said, zulm here means shirk. That's the reason why it's very important. When we, when we study the Quran, we go by the understanding of Allah and the understanding of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Sahaba and the Salafs, right? The, the, the righteous uh, predecessors, right? So, does that make sense now? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I, just, I disagree with you though that um, Adam was not arrogant. Because I think in order to commit sin, it Where, okay. requires a arrogance. Okay, if Every you, sin requires a uh, certain degree of arrogance okay. to commit. But okay. he gave you the linguistic meaning of Indistan. Look, 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 look. It's not just a linguistic meaning. It's this, look, Adam alayhi salam. You have to give me evidence from the Quran and Sunnah where Allah Azawajal said he's arrogant. Iblis was called arrogant. We know he's arrogant by his actions. No. But he repented. He repented. No, no, no. You, you see, you, you see, the problem with you is we don't go by our aql. We don't go by our intellect when it comes to our religion. Yeah. Our religion is based upon the legislative text, the naql, which is based upon the Quran and the sunnah. Okay, then please show me the verse that says that the reason that Adam was forgiven and Iblis was not was because of arrogance. Okay, fine. So, you know, when we, when we commit uh, sin, does that mean that we're arrogant? I believe so, yes. Yeah, even though we didn't know that. Well, there's a difference between any exactly. an un That's what you're missing. That's no, what you're but Adam missing. knew what he was doing. No, he didn't. He was, he no, 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 it is, it is a slip. Yeah. Allah Azza wa Jal, He said it is a slip. You're making it's a shoot so coming. This is from the Quran. This is, this is from the Quran. Have you read the Quran? Yeah, if you, if you, Absolutely. You so a, you don't know this. If you make a statement and you make a slip of the tongue, right? Yeah. You say something wrong. Yeah, but that's you're not, not, you're not yeah. necessarily going to be. You're not going to be held to account exactly. in, in a way that mistake, you would. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm talking about accidents. Allah says he. Allah. Allah says. But if no, no, no. you do something intentionally, knowing it's wrong, yeah. that requires arrogance. Okay, no, no, no. Wait, 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 brother, brother. See, now you're changing the goalposts. Yeah. Now you're contextualizing. Yeah. If that is the case, if you That's look, what all conversations look, do. Look, look, we, look, we, look, get, we understand look, each other. We talk. We contextualize. Look, look. Is Allah all forgiven? Yes or no? It's all lost in translation. Is is Allah all forgiven? Yes. Okay. So even if a person intentionally commits sin, and he uh, he asks Allah for forgiveness, he'll be forgiven. Yes. Khalas. Then I, I don't see the. I believe that's what happened to Adam. He intentionally committed the sin. He was arrogant, but he repented. No, no, no. He repented, and so God views him as not arrogant anymore. No, 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 no. Adam, Adam alayhi salam, because of the waswas of shaitan, that led him to commit the sin. No, no, no. Okay? Adam never spoke to shaitan. Huh? Eve did. You have that wrong. Where is this in the Quran and the Sunnah? It's not in the Quran. It's in the previous. Then you're culture. talking. Uh, uh, then you're talking outside the Quran and Sunnah. Yes, I'm talking which, outside, the, outside of the Quran. Yeah, so you're talking the Bible. I'm talking I know about you. the Torah. No, I, I know you. No, I don't agree. We don't take our knowledge from their Torah. No. Uh, but you should, because the Quran says that if you have any questions, ask those who have the previous tradition. No, the, have you read the context? Absolutely. Surah Yunus chapter 10, verse 94. I know this. Uh, that's not the only one, but yes. Well, there are many. Surah yes, Anbiya chapter 21, verse, 100, uh, verse number 7. In Surah Nahal chapter 16, verse 43. Okay, what's the context? That's why I choose to follow the previous The context is, the context is this. Allah Azza wa Jal is speaking about the matters of the unseen regarding the Jewish nation. The story of Musa, the story of Fir'aun, right? Because the Arab pagans did not know this. They do not know the Jewish history. They only know their own Arab tradition. Ibrahim, Ismail, correct? Then Allah Azza wa Jal, he's saying to the Prophet, if you are in doubt, ask the people who know. What does Allah say afterwards? Do not have any doubt because you're upon the truth. Do not have any doubt. So what you're doing right now, you you are, what you're doing, you are only quoting a part of the ayah, but you're not completing the ayah, because the rest of the ayah said, do not be doubtful because you're upon the truth. So for example, do you have do you have a do you have a partner? Do you have a wife? Okay, you have a wife. For example, if you say to your wife, if you have any doubt that I love you, X, Y, and Z, does that mean you're telling her that you have a doubt? I don't think that's what the Quran is saying. No, no, no. I'm telling, I'm giving the context. If, for example, you say to your to your wife that look, you keep telling me that I don't love you. Okay? 
if you doubt that you love me, if you doubt that you love me, then X, Y, and Z. Does that mean that you're telling her that you don't love her? Okay, but the X, Y, and Z in this case is go to the previous scriptures. So you know, you, with that, stick yeah, within your analogy. But you, you, you know, you, yeah. if you doubt that I love you, yeah, yeah, go look at our marriage certificate. Go look. Does at that mean you're in doubt? That I've been with you for. Yeah. Does that mean you're years? okay? Does that does that mean you're in doubt that you love her? No, you love her, correct? Right, but it's I'm, not, I'm not questioning whether Muhammad was in doubt. It's, so what are you questioning? That means, okay, correct. Then we're on the same page. Kalas. Yeah, okay, good. Kalas. Okay, then I answered good. your question. Yeah. Okay. Mashallah. Cool. Uh, do you believe in one God? Yes. Do you believe that there, uh, there's none worthy to be worshipped in truth except Him? Yes. Do you believe in Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger of God? No. But I do believe He is Rasulullah. Okay, why do. Okay, I know I know you appeal to the Torah and the, and the, and the Gospel, right? Yes. You see, there is a, there is a misconception. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in Surah 2, Ayah 177, one of the six pillars of Iman, one of the, one of the, one of the six, uh, uh, one of the six things that we have to believe in is Kutub. So we have to believe in the revelation given to Musa and Isa. Okay? However, this, yeah, however, the Torah and the Injil, which they ascribe to be the Torah of, of Musa and the Injil of Isa, they're not the true Torah and Injil. I know the hadith you're so, you're quoting from I think in uh, Dawood, Sunan Abu Dawood, yes. No Bukhari. Oh, Bu Bukhari I think mean, Abu Dawood. Uh, yes. I'm, it's I'm also not... in Dawood, but it's in Bukhari as well. Okay, but the thing is this Allah says in the Quran that there are certain aspects in the Quran and the Sunnah that affirms their book. For example, the oneness of God. You can find some truth. Yeah, Al Muhaiminin. It's like a quality control over the previous books. However, that does not mean that we validate their books. Do you understand? Just because it's corruption, that doesn't mean... Is it Salah now, yeah? I've got to pray. I've got to pray. Okay, then. What, what's your name again? Uh, Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. Very similar to <laughs> Ryan. Yes, very similar. <laughs> nice to meet Ryan. Okay? Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah. Thank you. Let's pray Salah. Inshallah. I said to them, I said to my father, not only...